Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your continued love and support. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. So this is a timeless collective reading for all signs. Whenever you hear the messages, when you're meant to receive it, this could absolutely be related to something from your past. It could be a current event or a future prediction. Okay. Um, this could be your story or the story of someone else that's in your energy or your environment. He could be a she, she could be a he, the roles could be reversed. Energy is fluid. Okay. We're all on different timelines. So again, different pieces of the story may resonate. All of it may resonate. None of it may resonate. <laughs> Please only take what resonates. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's like a surge of energy. It's like an energy. I'm here, energy surge. <laughs> energy surge. Like something is being. There's a lot of things being cleared away. Um, I really do hope that a lot of people start to see some improvements in um relationships for sure. And this could be any type of relationship, friendship, family. Um, romantic because of course now Venus has gone direct now Mercury is still in retrograde along with several other planets but Mercury will go direct in um, in about two weeks now what I want to say what I'm picking up on is and, and this is just a, some spiritual advice and I may have mentioned it in the last reading I don't know for sure but what I want to say for a lot of people is with this energy shift, all of the energy shifts that we're experiencing, for me personally, I'm the type of person oftentimes will like with Mercury retrograde, it affects me most like the the pre re, pre or post shadow retrograde. What I'm seeing in the readings and I try to read into the readings a bit for spiritual guidance and advice. I want you guys to make sure right now that you're practicing a lot of self-control and temperance. A lot of people, especially with their recent Pisces full moon, are really, really shedding. They're really, you know, with the Venus retrograde, Mercury retrograde, a Pisces full moon. We had another full moon in August. It was two different full moons in August. There is a lot happening. So I want you to know that you're not the only person who is probably going through like some type of dark night of the soul shadow ascension upgrade whatever the case may be you may be going through an awakening but sometimes the way that you react and respond to other people going through a dark night of the soul has everything to do with how you actually level or rank up in your ascension you're gonna have people who are battling their shadow your whatever shadow you have could definitely be battling with the shadow of another person whether that's knowingly unknowingly consciously or unconsciously so make sure that you're giving yourself grace giving other people grace if you don't really feel like going around a person that's fine if you feel like you need to protect your energy and not have a person around you that's fine as well don't be afraid to communicate but right now it's something energetically where communication things are very very sensitive a lot of people's energy is very sensitive be very careful in what you say Pick and choose your battles wisely. Don't be afraid to hold back certain things because I can guarantee you if you react and respond right now, the way that you will react and respond probably two to three weeks from now will be totally different. So don't allow this temporary energetic shift or temporary anger, sadness or whatever to lead to you saying or doing things that will become that will put you in a permanent situation that you're not really happy with. Okay. Um, ground yourself. That's what I would say. Please try to ground yourself at this time. For those of you who have people close to you, friends, family, children in the household. Um, those of you who are dating in any type of romantic partnership you could have already experienced like your person could have already had um their retrograde blues you know they could have already dealt with the situation and maybe now you're going through it 
or vice versa the beginning of retrograde they were struggling now you're happy go lucky and now they're catching hell so be sure that you understand you're not the only person on this journey you're not the only person going through the thick of it <laughs> eight of cups yeah so you you could be considering walking away or you have walked away from something or someone okay also with this eight of cups i feel strongly like i said other people are it's it's um funny because a lot of people are elevating evolving they're leveling up in their their spiritual path and then you're you're meeting people who are getting on this journey okay wow the empress Ooh. I feel like somebody is about to get on a journey with an empress or you're just on your personal journey to becoming the empress. However, it resonates it both could resonate for some of you. The more that, yeah, for sure. Some, somebody is rushing towards you. Your energy is, is calling in uh, the energy of someone else. 100%. Um, yeah, your soul is speaking out. You have a, like an unusually magnetic type of energy at this time this is a lot of movement all surrounding this empress energy and it's fast movement it's like somebody wants to like dominate you it's <laughs> i'm gonna let the cars come i'm not getting like a bad energy it's more of like I'm, I feel like somebody is is captivated. They're mesmerized by the, this, like, very, yeah. Look at that. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Ace of Cups. Psychic development, love, emotional fulfillment. The King of Pentacles is here. The Three of Wands and the Queen of Wands. I don't, I don't, I don't know why the Queen of Wands is out here. The Tower is in the reverse. So the Tower being in the reverse, that this, this is, this is some another situation over here. You, you have a Queen of Wands who has been waiting, anticipating the arrival or the or some type of growth or expansion with the King of Pentacles. That same King of Pentacles, though, I feel is who's rushing towards this Divine Feminine. And Divine Feminine, you could have walked away from this person or you're considering walking away from this person by, because I'm thinking about the last reading, we did, because you are detaching from someone, they're rushing in. Now, when we read energy and readings, that does not mean that some people are physically in contact or communication with another person. Again, with this retrograde energy, people spiritually are like sending this like telepathic SOS out to people that they want to connect with. I feel like someone is pretty set on going towards this divine feminine. Yeah. The 10 of wands in the reverse. There's like a path that is being cleared. The high priestess and all you need to do. Yeah. The high priestess justice and the lovers. All you have to do right now is sit back, chill, relax, retreat, heal, Trust your intuition. I've I've been seeing the number 9199. And when I looked that number up earlier today, um, 808 on the clock right now. Let me see if I can find it. 9199. What does 9199 mean? There's three nines in there with the number one. So something is ending. And the number one always it signifies like a new beginning. Nine one nine nine. That just um. So nine one nine nine. It says the angel number nine one nine nine says that you should not assume that your past success will always guarantee future benefits. Um.
9199 is a number of possibilities opening up in your life. It symbolizes good luck, success, and fortune. 9199 relates to the field of money and personal development and says that it is possible that the very first step you take in the direction of your personal growth will open the way to big money for you. Hmm. Let's see if they have anything about what this number means for love. Seeing 9199 angel number is all about trusting your intuition and can be a powerful sign when it comes to relationships. This number encourages you to listen to your heart and trust its guidance. So look at what we have here. You have the high priestess, you have the justice, that's a decision and the lovers. There is some kind of decision that you have to make about a partnership or relationship, some type of new path. And it could be a career path, um, whatever it is. And you're being advised right now that there are burdens that are finally being put to rest for you. You can trust your own intuition, whatever this situation is. It's still something with this. There's some, there's a an energy in the background, though, with this Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles. I don't think that it's, it's worth your your energy or, or your attention. This is someone that is just perhaps trying to constantly penetrate you energetically, but it doesn't even matter. It just doesn't. You have something else here. So this is just leaving the past behind. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. There's definitely some type of opportunity coming for you and your finances and your career with the Queen of Pentacles out here. And to me, I always think the Queen of Pentacles is all is an energy that's well on their way to becoming the Empress. The Queen of Pentacles is practical. They're down to earth. They're spiritual. They're grounded. Um, as I said before, ground yourself. You're going on a new journey where like burdens are they're leaving. If you've had financial struggles you're about to really recover. Look at this. Everything is fine. 10, 10, 10 of wands in the reverse. Like you've been completely, you could have been feeling burnout, but the, everything is fine this year. So divine feminine, whether male or female, empress, lovers, everything is fine. When it comes to your partnerships, everything is fine. Everything is fine. And you could have had someone possibly from your past. Someone was waiting to see. Were you going to get some kind of new beginning? And you are. <laughs> this Knight of Swords, this Knight of Swords person. What I've been getting in all the reads, it seems like there's more than one person rushing in. The Queen of Cups here and the Eight, I'm sorry, and the Four of Pentacles. And here is the Ace of Pentacles. And the moon is in the reverse. Somebody knows the truth. Somebody knows that you are the truth. They know that. Oh, absolutely. The queen. Um, the queen of cups. Somebody. The queen of cups is here with the moon. Every reading I get a cancer and a Leo that come out. That's in somebody's chart. I've been talking about cancer, Leo, and Virgo for a good month. The moon in the reverse, though, is clarity. No more illusions. There's good luck, good karma, a, a turning point for sure when it comes to this offer, this ace of pentacles. The four of pentacles is right now, spirit is just saying, just release, just let go. You don't have to worry about who's coming in. Just know something good is coming in. Don't worry about the who, what, when, where, why. Just know that it's coming. That's all you need to focus on right now. <laughs> Yeah, something is being balanced out. R right now, you feel discontent, bored. You can't really see it happening. The chariot is in the reverse. Who the f Who is this cancer? So somebody, there could have been a cancer that was creating some kind of illusion. In hopes that like something wouldn't move forward. Or the masculine energy is not coming out anymore. This person is on there's somebody on their way to you though. And and this could be someone totally new. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. But they're 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 planning. 
they're coming somebody is coming towards you slowly because there's there's some trickery here it's an illusion but the illusion has been shattered but look at this ten of cups and i see that the two of cups is in here the knight of wands the two of cups ace of wands yeah somebody is coming towards you with a serious offer that pentacle here here it is somebody has an offer it's already in motion and it feels like somebody here has been waiting to see was this person going to make you an offer but you know what's weird i'm getting here it's like whoever you are the divine feminine that's watching this reading you resonate you have multiple people who are very much drawn to you and it seems like multiple people are connected to another person and they're watching waiting trying to figure out if a lover that they're with is coming towards you you there's a divine feminine that i'm reading for right now that has more than one person that is trying to come towards you or manifest you this could be people from your past as well as energetically you now are being aligned and becoming a vibrational match for someone new to enter your life but you definitely have like this queen of wands here this person has been waiting to figure out is this king of pentacles gonna reach out to you and come towards you And it's really feeling to me like there possibly is a karmic feminine somewhere who has like shown their ugly truth and it's making this masculine really want to pursue this divine feminine because they are they already know that somebody tried to paint some type of really weird illusion to keep them bound and it did not work so some of you definitely when it comes to a partnership whether it's like i said business or romantic Somebody was in the background trying to sway someone's decision making by painting some type of illusion and it has backfired. This person that they were trying to hold back from you, somebody could have told a lie about you, whatever. This person is now come there. They have an offer in motion. They may be taking their time and taking a very slow, methodical approach to this. This is why I said earlier, make sure you're grounded and that you are mindful in how you react and respond to things. Somebody is coming towards you with an offer and it is like the beginning of something pretty stable. This same Knight of Pentacles could be this King of Pentacles. This this person was at some point perhaps a King of Pentacles to someone else. Now, going back, it's a lot going on in this reading. Here's this Queen of Pentacles here. This Queen of Pentacles may have had to walk away from a situation. This Ten of Wands, this person is burned out in trying to control a situation the queen of pentacles remember i said this person is usually on their way to being the empress so somebody here could have decided to end a long-term relationship a marriage or possibly like an engagement because they're seeing the truth about this particular energy this person for sure this is like a karmic energy i'm gonna say it this person was hoping to become the 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 life partner of this king of pentacles and that's not what happened. So this person tries to create some kind of illusion. They may have even paid someone to do magic or to create some type of illusion in hopes that the will will go in their favor. And it didn't. It did not go in their favor. That's why spirit is saying for you, trust your intuition because something is being balanced out. Somebody is coming towards you and it could be somebody brand new. It does not have, but or they could be fairly new in your life. But whoever is coming towards you, they have someone in their energy that does not want them to go towards anybody. Somebody is leaving a marriage or a long-term committed relationship. And it feels like they're going right towards a person that they're possibly going to end up in a very long-term committed relationship with possibly even a marriage. It's a divine feminine with the lovers. Somebody walked away from this queen of pentacles and this queen of pentacles really thought that they were about to be someone's partner that's not what's happening because this thing this masculine is quickly going into a brand new connection and it's going it's the two of cups is going to the ten of cups they're serious about this this new person you could be the divine feminine that this person is coming towards somebody is really serious about this 
And I have to be honest, I don't know if this is a situation where someone has been in a third party situation or not. Um, but somebody is leaving a long term like relationship and they're going right into another long term relationship. The three of Pentacles. Yeah. Uh huh. For sure. Somebody was invested in this connection and they're very disappointed because this person has decided to free themselves from whatever the, the chains and the restrictions. are. There is no more equal give and take in this situation. Somebody is like, no, I'm leaving. Five of swords in the reverse. This person is like, no, I'm not putting up a fight. Somebody has just surrendered. They're like, I don't want this. They have their eye on someone that they see themselves having success with. And they this person is pursuing this divine feminine. Oh, yeah. Because it's their, it's their possible like twin flame soulmate life partner. That somebody is leaving a serious committed relationship. They're going towards a person that they're going to marry. And somebody knows that. Somebody is looking into this situation and they're sick about it. They know it. Wow. Could be a Virgo or a Leo. Or somebody could have done some type of spell work or something like that. Or manifestation work. Like I said, somebody tried to pay someone to create an illusion. They could have done this around Leo season. We're still in Virgo season now. Yeah, because they want this king. This king of cups, king of pentacles is the same person. And I feel this queen of pentacles, queen of wands is the same person. This high priestess, empress is the same. Everybody here is on a totally different frequency. See, this masculine with this queen of pentacles, they're a king of pentacles. This masculine's like, no, I don't want to be a king of pentacles. I don't want to be king anything. I want to be the emperor. So I, that means that I have to go to the empress. It's just, it, it is what it is. Yeah, somebody is, is waking up. They're like, no, someone is awakening and they're manifesting. I'm t somebody literally has just manifested like they're a twin flame. This is going towards like, long-term stability but they but they they did this either while they were with this queen of pentacles or they recently left this queen of pentacles and they this queen of pentacles queen of wands person may have thought like oh this person was still waiting that's what this is yeah and you know you see this happen a lot let's let's be real somebody here they didn't realize that a breakup was was permanent <laughs> You know, people, this could have been like an on again, off again, or somebody thought because of their history, because of kids or whatever, like, oh, that person, you know, we took a few months off. They'll be back. No, they're not. Somebody could have, could have been separated from someone for about eight months, like all this year. I'm getting with the eight of cups for some reason, I experienced it eight months. So we're in September now. So somebody could have broken up like at the beginning of the year, January, and they thought that over time like they they would get this person to come back i did a reading a few days ago and i was talking about a karmic this person is working out they're changing like they're completely changing their life because this person they really think that by them changing certain things in their life it's going to ma manifest this masculine back the masculine has already set their sights on the divine feminine it does not matter you can go to the gym three times a day okay this may this person is is they're gone and if these people were divorced or, or separated this person is now saying no i want a divorce i'm not coming back wow <laughs> and this person either they they tried to create some kind of law uh i said law they could have done something illegal this person tries to create some kind of lie or an illusion for sure heavy heavy Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, especially Cancer. And what they what they were hoping is that the wheel was going to turn and that they were going to get this offer. This offer is going to this divine feminine. It's not going to this person. That pentacle is already in motion. And you know what I'm getting actually? This queen of pentacles who wants to be the divine feminine, this person, they were willing to give everything to this masculine. And the masculine still bailed. 
The mask was like, no, that's okay. I, I don't want it. I'll start over. This person literally was like, I, I will give you money. I'll give you any type of stability, security. Let's do business together. They were willing to offer a lot in hopes that, you know, I did a reading like three months ago. And I was saying that somebody is literally willing to propose to a masculine. They will do anything to keep this. Ma and this masculine is still like, no. I don't want it. You're, <laughs> you're going to be forever waiting. I, I'm not coming back. I don't want it. Sorry, one second. This is the deck that I need. Nine of Pentacles. Three of Swords, four of Swords. <laughs> this Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this is like the Divine Feminine Energy. You're just like at peace. You're happy. You're chilling. You're vacationing, possibly taking care. Of, and look at this. I can't. Queen of Wands is heartbroken because you're receiving this offer that's going straight towards the Ten of Cups. They're like, what? This person did some kind of spell work or something. They did. Look, I told you. What did I say? And the reason why I got this is because it's something significant about the gem. This person is trying to do some type of breakup glow up. And they thought that if I do this, this is going to um this is going to bring this person back. This is someone who doesn't understand the superficial 3D stuff is not working. This masculine is awakening. This man's like, no, I that's okay. And what I look at this Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is the same as this Queen of Wands energy. It could be any sign, but this person is like, I will give you something like whatever this person has built for themselves, especially financially, they're willing to give it to this masculine because they want this, the queen of pentacles. They're like, listen, we're supposed to be together. What do you want? And this masculine is like, I'm, I'm gone. I don't want to be the king of pentacles. I want to be the emperor. I can't be the emperor with the queen. This person was waiting on this masculine to come back. They cannot believe that he's not, <laughs> he or she is not coming back. And I feel like this divine feminine is just like sitting pretty, just like, hmm, I'm just trusting my intuition, healing, doing my shadow work. Somebody is obsessed. The devil. And the page of cups. Man, this offer, this offer. The crazy part about it, because I see the page of cups. Whoever this karmic feminine energy is, this person definitely is creating illusions, but I don't even think that divine feminine, you haven't even received this offer. So I'm trying to figure out how does they, how do they know about the offer that you're receiving? This could be somebody's ex, but some of you need to be careful you have like a friend, a family member, or a friend of, or a family member of this person that's coming towards you. I don't, and this, this comes up, how does this person know about the offer that you're receiving? I don't think the divine feminine, for some of you, I don't think that you actually know that this person is coming in with this offer. Or like if this person is in your life now, it's a very small offer, but the page of cups is here and the ace of cups. Something is in its, its early stages, but somehow someone has discovered and they know for a sure fact, look, the 10 of cups is out here twice in two different days. They know that if you get this offer, the ace of cups is out here twice in two different, they already know it's going towards the 10 of cups. There's no denying it. 
somebody knows they're like yo i fumbled the bag like i lost that they know i mean there's no denying it here i'm gonna pull a few cards the sun that's a yes the sun is a yes like somebody's like i'm giving you the boot just move on with your life i'm not coming back ace of swords that's the truth and somebody has communicated so if somebody reached out to a masculine like hey what's going on you know i've been in the gym and i did this this person was like okay that's nice i have a new i, I like i'm moving i moved on now whatever you're doing that's good but like no this person is, is making it clear i have moved on and that there will be no return <laughs> and i feel like maybe this you know what yeah the hangman this person is not stuck this masculine is not stuck by their past they're not they're fully awakened about it and this person has received some kind of communication from this this karmic feminine and i feel like they told this person you know actually with the page of cups i met somebody who i really like he may not have said that, you know, they're in a relationship because you and you, some of you, you're not in a relationship. But this person, just the fact that they said that they are interested in somebody else. Somebody has been doing some kind of research and they have figured out who the divine feminine is. And they're like, no. And for some of you, they don't know who you are, but I'm telling you, they're, they're definitely sending some kind of bad energy towards this masculine and and whoever the masculine may be connected with king of cups this person like this person oh heck here we go <laughs> king of cups the ace of swords that's the truth the high priestess the king of cups knows that the divine feminine high priestess it's who that they can, who they can be the emperor with, and they have said that to someone. They're like, I'm moving on to peaceful, calm waters. I'm elevating. No more illusions. Will of fortune is over. And whoever, if there's a cancer out here that's been doing this, this person was very foolish in their pursuit to try to destroy something with this divine feminine, divine feminine and masculine. This person now is in their head. They're in some kind of mental imprisonment because whatever this deceptive thing is that they did, all it did was it made this masculine say, I will never, ever deal with you. And now whoever they, this faded connection is, the masculine is like, I'm going towards this person because they randomly met someone that happened to be their actual divine counterpart. This masculine is like, no, I'm not. No. And here you have it. The King of Cups. And the queen of cups these two people have an emotional spiritual and psychic type of connection so he's like i'll move every mountain that i have to now for this ten of pentacles and somebody is very upset about that that's just what it is very very simple to the point what is this yeah so it's the divine feminine. I hear your masculine is coming towards you. And this could be someone brand new. I just want to keep saying that. <laughs> or it's somebody around you that, you know, it's just maybe it's been difficult for you guys to come together. It's, this isn't a toxic person. If you notice this reason, there's the only thing that's somewhat toxic out here is this queen of wands devil. This, this karmic feminine. Th this masculine, there, this is a divine masculine. So if you if you're wondering if this is someone who's been stuck in a relationship with somebody keeping you waiting on the back burner, this is probably not that person. This is someone who is having obstacles and challenges with getting a relationship possibly off the ground or being able to communicate with you. Because to be honest, somebody has possibly been in the background doing some kind of spell work, magic or something else. You are this person's main attraction. They want to build a future with you. And this is a divine union, but this person just got out of a breakup. There you have it. Okay. You, or some of you, you and this person, there may be some time apart in this connection. Or you had some time apart. If you did have time apart, it won't last long. They, they don't see anybody but you. That's it. Like, they want to be locked in with just you. Whoever, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I think about a 
My love is your love. Your love. Is that Rihanna? Somebody could be a Pisces. But this person is saying you're the one. You're the one that I think about all day. My love is your love. <laughs> divine. I mean, come on. Main attraction, building a future and divine union. Nobody's about to break this up. Like at all. I don't nobody can break this up. It's not happening. And I feel like this person. Is communicating this. This person could have actually met with this this past person, but somebody has some old feelings that's being stirred up, and they're like, "I can't get this person." They're like, "I can't get over this." This person could even tell you, could because you have your checkpoint and vulnerability. They may even tell you, like, "Hey, my ex reached out to me." I feel strongly like if you're dealing, they're going to tell you that during, especially if you and this person have some time apart, they're going to be like, during the time that, you know, we weren't talking, my ex reached out to me. We had a conversation or we went out for drinks or whatever. And I just had to, I just had to tell him or her, like, I moved on. I wish them well. And, and this person is not lying. Somebody is like holding it down for you. They're, they're like, no, I don't see anybody else. I don't want anybody else. They already know that they have a, a purpose with you. This person, is, I'm telling you, and I hear specific, this person is holding out just for you. This is not someone here who is easily swindled or tricked by sex, money, or anything. This person is like, no, once this person is done, they are done. And you see how this Knight of Swords is looking at this Divine Feminine. Main attraction. What did I say earlier? This person is mesmerized. They're, they're like, I don't see anybody but Divine Feminine. So whoever this other person is, he's like, you need to go. They sent this person. And I think that that may be why somebody is really, really tripping out. Because I feel that a masculine told this person. They admitted out of their own mouth. Via text message or whatever. I am seeing somebody else. I'm interested in somebody else. And yes, it's getting pretty serious. I really like this person. And whoever this karmic is, is like, what? This person is like, but I've been in the gym for the last six months. Waiting on you to come back to me. Obsessing over us building something i thought that it was we were getting married and this person is like mm -mm. no this is a very mature masculine very mature and they're honest this person is telling this person like it didn't work out between us i i hope that you know you find the person that you want to be with. Like, I can hear it. They're like, you know, I know we both had to learn and grow in this situation. But somebody's even like, I'm I'm thankful for, you know, the good, bad, and, and the ugly. But our relationship set me up to, to meet this person. This this person that I'm seeing now is is the truth. Like, that's she's the one, I think. So I don't know if some of you are with this person or for some of you, literally this person, they see you as the one, but you may not know it. But I guarantee you, if they, if they haven't said it to you, they're saying it to other people. They're saying it to their friends, brotherhood. They're saying they've already told their friends. Like, yeah, <laughs> this divine feminine, that's, th this is it for me. But I feel like you either you already know this person like they're a friend or you previously dated them maybe casually or this person literally like recently came out of another situation whatever this is it's it's happening fast i do feel like this is somebody that you know though there is some type of history here it may not be romantic but there is some kind of history with you and this person but they're seeing you <laughs> they're seeing you in a different light you have here falling in love love language 
reconciliation and spiritual awakening soulmate patience control issues life partner that's what i'm saying you just sit back let this unfold naturally you don't have to rush this you don't have to ask this person about their ex you don't have to wonder no whoever you are if you're the divine feminine this person is they're yours just it's so clear you patiently waited and manifested a soulmate but you manifested a soulmate that is going through a spiritual awakening or the two of you are going through a spiritual awakening that could have been the reason for some kind of like separation here but this person is coming back Somebody could have even done like spell work or something with all these illusions. And it could have actually caused like a temporary breakup. But I say this all the time. If you do spell work on some people who are meant to be together, even if you successfully break them up temporarily, when they come back together, you literally just ensure like you just solidify their union. That's all you did. Because when that energy is transmuted, it's blocked and it's reversed. What you sent out for good is going to be transmuted and turned into love and light. So if somebody tries to do a breakup spell on you and somebody, now this person is in love with you. Now this person is like, they can't see anybody else. Oh my gosh, that's what happened. <laughs> this person tried to do like some kind of love magic where they, because I'm this person's like, I don't want them to see anybody else but me. You know how people, you see people on TikTok and stuff like doing all this love, magic or whatever this crazy stuff they do. But this person is like, I want this person to be romantic. I want them to not see anybody but me. I want them to come back and propose to me, marry me, blah, 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 blah. They're not their person though. So the intentions that they put out for this person to come towards them and to move you out of this person's life. It, it was somehow blocked in reverse. Now this person is dreaming about building a life and a future and falling in love and marrying you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this person, I know that they are really going to regret this. Yeah, this person was probably getting tarot readings or something like that. But see, Divine Femme, you stay cool, calm, and collected. Now this person is coming towards you. To make you an offer and a promise because they're not trapped. This karmic feminine, they're terrified. They're like, I don't understand. The love, the, the spell was supposed to work. He was supposed to be coming to propose to me. Why is he about to propose to this other person? Again, she's like, I've been in the gym. <laughs> I've been working out. <laughs> This woman has literally, like, she's been planning for the day that this man comes back. Like, she wakes up every day planning. This man's, all, all of his passions, his desires, his love is all for this divine feminine. Because the divine feminine is saying... I'm I'm on a journey. And this man is like, well, I'm on a journey too. If you listen, if you if you're a bird, I'm a bird. <laughs> if, if you're a bird, I'm a bird. <laughs> if you if you're on a journey, I'm on a journey. <laughs> Everything that this karmic did, I don't know what what kind of spell work this was to have her out here hopping on one foot and and, and conjuring or, or whatever she did. Now she is like, what is happening? The spell work, it didn't work. <laughs> She's like, what? what a, wait a minute. He's supposed to be stuck on me. The binding magic didn't work. This man is like, girl, bye. This man is toward, blew up the whole set. Ten of cups twice. Ace of cups twice. <laughs> Smell like, let me go get my twin flame. Mm-mm-mm. I'm talking about, listen. She is shook, frightened, like, what? 
Look, it was the wrong time for her to do this magic. You shouldn't have been doing that. Listen, doing magic with Mercury retrograde, Venus retrograde, it was the wrong time to be doing magic on a divine connection because now everything, it backfired. So the magic turned into a manifestation. Wow. Wow. Look, look at this. This man now, he's coming for you. He's determined. Like a dolphin. He's like, you throw the ball, I, I'll catch it. You say, jump, he's like, how high? If, listen for if you a bird I'm a bird <laughs> somebody had more than this person knew that this mask had a, a choice more than one option so they made this person try to run away from you or this person they did run away from you but it's like a past life connection so we're still coming back it's supposed it's destined wow it's destined to be look at this secret admirer and look proposal marriage somebody this person has been holding back and i feel strongly like somebody here was engaged this masculine they held back a marriage proposal or or something because they were able look the cards don't lie they got clarity that someone was manipulating them and they started to get clarity when they started praying and meditating and most likely this empress is on a spiritual journey and probably told this person hey you need to pray you need to meditate have you ever thought about doing shadow work? But see, the karmic is missing this person. And what this masculine decides to do is, you know what? You, you're right. I need to go on a retreat. I need to get away from something. And I need to speak up and, and tell this person that it's over and it's done. Somebody ended a marriage or a, a proposal. This person held back. And I'm this person, somebody was... I can't help but say somebody was planning for a, a wedding. Somebody had either they were engaged or they had definitely talked about it. That may be why this person has been in the gym because hell, or maybe this person was serious about proposing. She was like, well, if I go in and I'm, I'm sexy and I propose and he says, yes, she was going to take this man to the altar herself. Wow. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. This is crazy. I mean, this spell work. Whew, yikes. Well, this is a happy outcome for somebody. Oh my gosh. This is concerning. Very concerning. I just heard, um, oh my goodness. I have chills all over. Oh my God. Like I have ch crazy chills and I'm hearing heaven couldn't wait for you. That Beyonce song. Lord, I hope that this person. Mm. I, yeah. Don't tell me that this person is considering trying to hurt themselves. This could be that type though. Cause this person is very obsessed. This may be someone that's like, if you won't come back, I'll... Oh, my gosh. No, I, I'm not going into that. I'm not. That's such... Uh-uh. This person feels devastated. I just keep hearing that heaven couldn't wait for you. Oh, my gosh. Look. Death, seven of wands, empress... This person's like over my dead body, but this person's also saying, if you leave me out in the cold and you don't fight for this, this part, oh my goodness, you can interpret this. Death, seven of wands, this person, they're like, if you don't marry me, if you don't come back to me, if you choose to go and unite with that person that you like so much, this part, look at this, this is crazy. Okay, this got real serious. Five of Pentacles. This person is like, I cannot be without you. The fact that you want to go and celebrate and have victory and success. This person is like stalking out in the cold. They're they're like they're feeling very wounded. This person feels betrayed. They can't stand this truth that someone here is moving forward. They like this has somebody really, really struggling. This person could have some kind of childhood issues. 
but the cycle is over and this person like they're they're shattered y'all this i'm i'm sorry but i'm gonna this is really serious this person could actually consider harming themselves yeah because the tower like it's something here it's an inevitable and judgment oh, five of wands the hierophant somebody did too much oh my gosh oh my gosh this part oh my gosh like the things i'm saying this person did too much and if they did remember i was saying illusions if this person was doing like confusion spells or something it has this person possibly thinking about hurting themselves their mind is not in a good place right now it's not it's it, this spell work is backfiring really bad on this person this person could be listening to some really sad songs mm, false person number eight that queen of wands possibly this person definitely has leo in their chart oh my god Wow, this person is spazzing out. Unexpected income. They ex they were expecting a certain outcome with this this man. Look at that courthouse. This man was like, "No, I, we're not going in business together. We're not getting married." When this person got this me this person received a message of concern their message of concern is the fact that somebody is in a courtship these people could live at a distance but i do feel like somebody has has had a, a meet up or something with someone and i feel the thief is here with journey this person wanted to to pretty much steal this offer or opportunity that's going towards perhaps this divine feminine oh my gosh you know so what's today's date september 4th wasn't that beyonce's uh birthday yesterday she's a virgo so something could have happened on september 4th. community and death I, oh my gosh expectation somebody is scared about an ending or somebody is afraid you know what too somebody is very afraid that the community is gonna find out that they're no longer with somebody this this could be like a obviously you guys resonate with these messages but this may be something that we actually see in the news especially like celebrity news because somebody is very concerned about the fact that someone is not moving forward with a wedding a wedding proposal and they're scared that the community is going to find out about this somebody does not want people to know that they're no longer with someone this person is out right now acting like they're still in a relationship with somebody and they're not because this was someone's way too to be to be very successful it was something about how this situation looked to the community to the public or something this person now is like no but see you have an official person they're thinking about this divine feminine who they want to be their main person and this is possibly a wealthy person or someone who is destined to be wealthy somebody is like no and now i'm hearing that beyonce song ring the alarm this person is like, um, what, what does she say in that song? Pretty much like, like, no, that other person isn't about to. I'm, I'm going to look this up and I'm, I'm closing out. Wow. This took a turn. <laughs> I've been through this too long, but I'll be damned if I see another chick on your arm. Yeah. This person's like, oh no, we're supposed to get married and be together. The fact that you think you're going to go over there and be with that divine feminine, you're crazy, is what this person is saying. Like, no. She just keeps in the song. She just keeps saying, I've been through this too long. She's going to be rocking chinchilla coats if I let you go. 
getting the house off the coast if I let you go. She going to take everything I own if I let you go. I can't let you go. Yeah, so somebody is like, oh, no. Th th somebody, either there's a man here who is wealthy that's going to really honor and protect and share their wealth with this divine feminine or somebody just knows that someone is going to become wealthy because I don't want to paint the picture for everybody that there's a wealthy man. You could have somebody in your life, but somebody already knows their potential and they're saying hey, they could be wealthy and they could have been helping this masculine and they're thinking to themselves, whenever this masculine does become wealthy, I should be the one to benefit from everything that they have because they, they feel like they've been in the situation too long, but you stayed in that situation. And this divine masculine is like, well, I'm going to this divine feminine, whether you like it or not. So whatever you did or didn't do or whatever I did for you or didn't do, it doesn't matter. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of this. I'm getting a lot of different references. It reminds me of that movie, Acrimony. That lady had gone completely crazy. It's a movie with Taraji Henson. It's an older movie. But she was when she had been with this man for years while he wanted he he had an invention and she literally had like drained her bank account. She had been with him. He, you know, wasn't employed. And all of a sudden he got a really big break and he made millions upon millions of millions of dollars. But the person who actually it, it was a person who. Wow. Wait a minute. A person who he had actually cheated with once and she caught them. Later, later in life, this was when they were in college, late, much later in life, years later, that same person who had cheated with, they crossed paths and she was actually able to help him with um, presenting his invention to a company. Well, later he hit big and they ended up dating. It, it was pretty innocent, but she was there. She helped him. She supported him. And later he was a, he was a really nice guy. He, he was broke. Um, but he, be, he believed in his invention and later he gave his ex-wife, they were married, they divorced. He gave her, I think $10 million. I think maybe he got, he got, I mean, he got a lot of money. You guys, maybe you've seen the movie. He gave her $10 million because while they were together and they were having financial issues, she lost her, they lost their home which was like a home that she had inherited. He gave her $10 million, but when he ended up being in a relationship with a new person, he bought a boat. He had like a condo, pretty much everything that he always, that he had told her that they were going to do together. He did that with someone else. He didn't do it out of malice. It's just the, it, like I said before, the timing was wrong. He didn't have those things and she left. She divorced him. And it's so interesting that I say this because I remember like last week I was talking about family and friends, her, her friend, she had sisters and her sisters was telling her, you know, he's broke. You need to leave him behind, blah, blah. And she listened to that. She left him. And when she left him, it wasn't long after he got that big break and he was so nice to her. I mean, he gave her $10 million and she literally, she destroyed the one, the new woman's wedding dress. She went into the bridal shop and destroyed her wedding dress. And then when she found out that they were expecting a child to get, she lost. I mean, she had become a real stalker. This is what this reminds me of in this reading. Like, if you don't let, like, I'm, I'm trying to think in the movie. It's been so long since I saw it. But she went to his condo because he went to her job and was like, hey, thank you for everything that you did. You know, and he presented her with a check. She thought that there was an opportunity for her to get back with him. He had already moved on with somebody, but it was, she's like, she's living my life is what she kept saying. She's living my life. And that's just how it happens sometimes. So this very well could be somebody, like I said, for some of you, you may have history with the person and it may not even be romantic, but maybe someone has always felt like you were a threat. Somebody has always perhaps been threatened by the possibility of you ending up with this particular masculine. And it looks like somebody is coming around to you. 
So you could have history with this person, but you may not have been in a relationship with them. I'm going to leave it here. If, if you haven't, you guys, you can you can watch that movie. But it surely does seem like this this reading. <laughs> wow. But you're somebody's main attraction. And I feel like they are coming in to treat you like royalty. This is an official person. Okay. So that's that. And it has somebody ooh, about to jump off the deep end. So I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I really hope that this gave you some clarity, some insight. Be safe out there, okay? <laughs> um, love you. Always go within so that you never go without. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.